Hi, I'm Catherine Alexander, one of the careers advisors at Cambridge University Careers Service. I'm here to tell you how a degree in theology, religion and philosophy of religion can prepare you for a huge range of different careers. First of all, let's look at where Cambridge graduates generally go to after university. These are the results of a national survey that is done six months after graduation. As you can see, 68% are employed, 23% are in further study, 6% are off travelling and having a gap year, and only 3% are still seeking work. Now these are the destinations of theology and religious studies graduates from 2017. As you can see, 51% are in employment, 35% went into further academic study, 13% into vocational training, and still only 3% still seeking work. This does add up to 102% for those of you with an eye for detail, but these figures are rounded up. The destinations of theology and religious studies graduates included teaching, charity work, arts, law, public service, including the civil service and the police, banking and investment. This is just a snapshot of one year. In other years, this also included international development, the media, communications and more. A popular misconception is that a degree in theology and religious studies only prepares you for a career that's connected to religion in some way. This clearly shows that a theology and religious studies degree prepares you for almost anything. It's really only jobs requiring a STEM subject degree that aren't an option. You'll see that 35% went on to further academic study, either taught or research. This is much higher than the average at Cambridge and it shows just how much students enjoy studying this subject. A lot of them just want to study it for a little bit longer. The percentage at the bottom, still seeking work six months after graduation, is the average across all degrees at Cambridge. Meet Laura Solomons. She graduated from a Theology and Religious Studies degree back in 2012, and she is now Head of Donor Relations at the Sutton Trust. She says, I think it's one of the best courses out there. I would point to the breadth and scope within the course. It developed my independent research skills, critical thinking, my ability to write and speak persuasively. I gained a deeper insight into my own perspective on Judaism and ethics, which helped me understand that I wanted to work in a career that was for broader societal good. Now, this is a degree that gets you thinking about all religions and cultures, not just one. It really is a study of society and how all the cultures in it fit together. An understanding of this can prepare you for careers across politics, civil service, charity work, police, immigration, just to mention a few. Anything, in fact, where you need an interest and understanding of people and what makes them tick along together. Employers tell us at the Career Service what skills they want from graduates and also which ones are in short supply. This slide shows you the full list and I won't go through all of them, but I want to highlight a few. Critical thinking, problem solving, managing information and crucially, that cultural understanding and global citizenship. This degree gives you that understanding in a way that not many others do. Whether you end up in the civil service, an international publishing house, or working in a marketing agency, an understanding of the complex, cultural, religious, diverse, and fabulous nature of the world is important. The rest of your experiences whilst doing your degree are just as important. The societies, your interests, your values and ethics, and the work experiences you do in the summers will help share your ideas of what career you want to do and the skills to get you there too. Meet Mark Harvey. He graduated last summer from this degree. Mark is currently doing a business and administration management course at the Cambridge Judge Business School and he has a job lined up in stock market equity research for an American investment bank. He says, the strong focus of theology has helped me tremendously. It taught me to investigate multidisciplinary and interconnected topics I learned how to assimilate large quantities of information, identify critical details and present them, both written and verbally. Now, Mark wasn't all that dedicated to equity research from day one. He's tried various industries to find out whether he wanted them or not, decided against PR and IT services and, I hope, liked his 2019 summer experience enough to apply for graduate entry roles in his final year. The student activities he chose to do will also have given him a wealth of transferable and impressive skills. From the football club, he will have gained leadership, teamwork, motivating others. 
from his position of responsibility as treasurer and fund fundraising officer, he will have gained commercial awareness and interest in funding and quite probably persuasive negotiation and people skills in raising sponsorship and funding. As Cambassador, communication, supporting others, teamwork again, event skills, troubleshooting, and a student bar rep collating student opinions, presenting these to senior uni staff and negotiating for change, and again, teamwork and committee work. All this in combination with the skills his theology degree gave him made him a very strong candidate for many graduate jobs. 9,503. Why is this an important number? Well, it's the number of jobs advertised through the Career Service in the last three years that said any degree discipline. A huge number of employers care that you have a degree, but not what it's in. They do care about the skills you developed, both in your degree and in the activities you chose to do around it. They see you as a holistic person, not just defined by the degree you chose to do at 18. They really understand that you might have had a difficult choice at A-level about whether you chose to do theology and religion or English lit or maths or biology. So choose a degree that is right for you, that you are interested in, that is going to sustain that interest for a whole degree. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you will be successful. Now, we see a lot of pressure on students to follow a degree that has a more vocational angle. For example, law, medicine, politics, computer science, and they are the most competitive courses to get onto. But university is a time to follow your interests and you will do better in a subject that you are more passionate about. You will enjoy it, get better grades and be less susceptible to issues such as anxiety and depression, which sadly are increasing in young people. By following a degree that you enjoy and that you are good at and you are interested in, all those pressures will be lessened. You will have time in the holidays to do work experience and volunteer work. Obviously, if you need a particular qualification for a job after uni, then you will need to follow a more vocational postgraduate course. Before you commit to that, be as sure as you can be that it's the right direction for you and work shadowing, work experience, talking to other students about courses and expectations. You can do a postgraduate conversion course in things like law, accountancy, even graduate medicine. To be 100% sure that you want these things, you need to have researched it, understood it, talked to people doing it. And I would strongly advocate doing a degree like theology, religion and philosophy of religion, which is about understanding what makes the world tick and it keeps your options firmly open while you come to a careers events, do work experience and take the time to make an informed decision about your future. The careers service here at Cambridge is yours for life and we can help prepare you for your future. The careers service isn't just for finalists, we can help you from your first term at Cambridge to plan for making the most of your time here to enhance your employability to draft that CV for finding your first work experiences and internships, and to support you with inspiration and contacts to help you research and find out more about different career options. We run career essential sessions to help you from day one on subjects like how to pick a career, through making applications and going to interviews and getting through assessment centres. We hold 14 different careers fairs, from the corporate areas like banking, consultancy and law, to engineering, science, technology and data science, to the not-for-profit areas like the Work to Change the World event, which covers charities, think tanks, international development and more, and also the communications and creative careers. Whatever career path you want to follow, we can help you reach your potential.